Okay, Math 31, let's take a look at a real-world example of, or of how we could use the midpoint formula. So total revenue of full-service restaurants in the United States increased from 117.8 billion in 1998 to a projected 184.2 billion in 2010. Use the midpoint formula to estimate the total revenue for 2004 and compare this to the actual figure of 156.9 million. All right, so I want to I want to take a moment and remember or just point out we're being asked to use the midpoint formula and I was given two ordered pairs. I can see 1998 and 117.8 and I can see 2010 and then 184.2. And halfway between 98 and 2010, sure enough is the year 2004, right? It's 6 years away from 2010 and it's six years away from 1998. So I'm gonna use that midpoint formula. And when I get my, my midpoint, I'm gonna compare the number, right? Because I wanna estimate the total revenue in 2004. I'm gonna get that number and I'm gonna compare it to 156.9. So let's take a look. I have to scooch this up so I can get the graph in view. But I just want us to keep in mind, we're gonna be using the midpoint formula on this. Okay. So I can see here I've got revenue in billions of dollars on the y-axis. I've got the year on the x-axis. Okay, I see 117.8, 184.2, and basically I want this, this midpoint in here. So if I was going to try and do the midpoint, actually I'm going to measure it just to be a little bit more technical here. It looks to me it's about one, two, three, a little bit more than three inches long if I, if I measure it. So I'm going to go a little bit more than one and a half inches. So I think the midpoint is somewhere around here. So if I had to guess graphically, I think, and again, let me write endpoint. Right? Here was another endpoint, and I want the midpoint. All right, I think my midpoint is around, I'm gonna guess 2004. Oops, there goes my lead, excuse me. 2004 and 150. That's where I think the midpoint is ish. But let's let's go figure this out. All right, so now I'm really going to scoot this up so that I have some room to work. Okay, so there we go. So if I want to get the midpoint, I'm going to average the two x coordinates, which are 1998 and 2010. So I'll do 1998 plus 2010 and I will divide that by two. And I also want to average these two y coordinates, which are 117.8 plus 184.2, and I'm going to divide that by two. And let's see what we're getting on, on our calculator. So let me clear out this. We got 1998 plus 2010. I'll divide that by two. Sure enough, that is 2004. And then let's take 117, oops. 117.8 yeah, and add to it 184.2, divide that by 2, and I'm getting 151 million. Okay, so I was close, but not quite. I guessed 150, so this is technically 151, but I am happy with my, my guess. All right, so this said, now I'm going to scoot this back down so we can remember what the directions actually said. So we did find the midpoint, but it said, compare this figure to the actual figure of 156.9. So we thought the revenue was going to be 151, but the actual revenue was 156.9. So our guess, our estimate, right, we were estimating, we had an underestimate, right? We underestimated by about 6 million, to be exact, 5.9 million. So this was an underestimate. We thought in 2004 the restaurant business was only going to clock in at $151 billion, and it exceeded our estimate. So let me scooch this back up, and let's practice writing this in, the, in a sentence. All right, it tends to be in math we don't like writing sentences, but let, let's combine that, especially since we're going to be doing some stats in here. So the projected revenue... of full-service restaurants in 2004 was $151 billion. Right? 
this was an underestimate when compared to the actual revenue or I'll use the words in the problem, the actual figure of $156.9 billion. Okay. All right, so just for fun, we were practicing writing things up in it with word problems or in sentences. All right, so that's gonna round out section 2.1. We're gonna come back in with section 2.2 and we're gonna be looking at linear equations in one variable. I'll see you in a few, bye.